You load and start your dishwasher. The washing process begins, and you hear a rush of water followed by what appears to be a large amount of water. And then you start to think, "Oh my God, it can't be good for the environment." Or are you just scaring yourself? Let's find out with PAA. Hi, I'm Chelsea Low. Welcome to What People Also Ask. Where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of its part, aka people also ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. So let's start with our first part. Is it better for the environment to hand wash or use the dishwasher? This question is answered by an article titled "What's More Sustainable: Hand Washing or Using a Dishwasher," published by Green Matters. Which is a lifestyle media company covering sustainability and innovation-related news. And another article titled "Should You Clean Your Dishes by Hand or Use a Dishwasher?" Here's the answer, published by Engie, formerly Engie's List, which is an American home service website owned by Engie Incorporated, headquartered in Indianapolis, Indiana. According to these two articles, believe it or not, using a dishwasher can actually be the more sustainable and environmental-friendly option. In some cases, dishwashers reduce water consumption, are more efficient than hand washing, and can even save you money. Dishwasher use less water, even if you don't have an Energy Star dishwasher. For those who don't know, Energy Star is a government-backed labeling program that helps people and organizations save money and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by identifying factories, office equipment, home appliances, and electronics that have superior energy efficiency. So let's break down the following up question into three parts: water, electricity, and money. So first, does dishwasher use more water than hand washing dishes? According to the Alliance for Water Efficiency, Energy Star dishwashers use about three and a half gallons of water per cycle, while older models use between 10 to 15 gallons. While this is a significant difference, it pales in comparison to the amount of water used while washing dishes by hand. Kitchen folks had to use one and a half to two gallons of water per minute. On average, hand washing dishes use between nine to twenty-seven gallons per load, but this widely vary based on washing method. So, hand washing usually uses more water than Energy Star dishwashers, and can even potentially use more water than older model of dishwashers, depending on your washing method. All right, next question: Does dishwasher use more energy than hand washing dishes? While hand washing appears to consume no electricity, it requires a tremendous amount of energy to clean water for you to use. So, in terms of the environment, dishwasher still uses less energy than hand washing. According to one study at the University of Bonn in Germany, in general, the household with dishwashers use on average 50% less water and 28% less energy per cleaned item compared with household not owning a dishwasher. And according to United States Environmental Protection Agency. If you have an Energy Star dishwasher, you can potentially save 55,000 gallons of water over 11 years, which is the average lifespan of an Energy Star dishwasher compared to washing by hand. Next question: Is it cheaper to wash dishes by hand or by dishwasher? According to the article mentioned above, energy-efficient dishwashers that meet the Environmental Protection Agency's electricity and water-saving efficiency standards might save a home on average $25 per year in energy bills. And according to another document of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, if you have an Energy Star dishwasher, you can potentially save an average of $465 in water and energy bill over 11 years compared to washing by hand. So here's another question: How can dishwashers actually use less water? Let's talk about our next part. Do dishwashers reuse dirty water? The short answer is yes. This question is answered by an article titled "Appliance Science: Dishwashers and the Physics of Water," published by CNET, which is an American media website that publishes reviews, news articles, blog, podcast, and video on technology and consumer electronics. And another article titled "What Actually Happens Inside Your Dishwashers," published by Review.com, which is a consumer product review website based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and emphasizes a science-based approach that tests consumer products in both everyday and lab environment. 
According to these two articles, all dishwashers have the same basic design, a sink at the bottom that filled with water, a pump that transport the water, and spray arm sprayers and other mechanisms that shoot the water onto the dishes. And all dishwashers recycle water to conserve water. The dirty water eventually dripped back into the pool below where it is filled, reheated, and sent back out into the sprayed arm again. The same water is being constantly used, reused, heated, reheated, sprayed, and collected. And here's what actually happened during a modern dishwasher cycle. 1. Pre-rinse. This is the first burst of warm water via the spray arm, which get all the dirty dishes wet, but doesn't really end to clean. 2. Main wash. This is the main part of the wash cycle that will use recycled water. The water is heated, sprayed, collected, filtered, reheat, and resprayed. At the end of the main wash, all of the water is drained. 3. Final wash and rinse. And finally, the dishwasher will put in new clean water and finish up with a final rinse. So, since it uses recycled water, is using a dishwasher more hygienic than hand washing dishes? The question is answered by an article titled Dishwashers or Hand Washing Science Settles the Score, published by Columbia Tribune. This article argues that dishwashers are more sanitary than hand washing dishes. Assuming that someone in your family has been sick, is it better to scrub your dishes by hand or put them in the dishwasher to get rid of the germ? So one way to kill the bacteria is to use really hot water. Dishwashers wash dishes with much hotter water. The hot water kills the majority of the bacteria that has been growing on your unclean dishes. Your hands would be scolded if you use the same temperature of water in the dishwasher to hand wash your dishes. Dishwasher, however, are not bacteria free. According to scientific study, germs can be discovered in 100% of dishwashers. The difference is that in nearly all of the study, the bacteria found in the dishwashers are less harmful to humans. Washing dishes by hand contains considerably more harmful bacteria owing to the bacteria growing on the rag sponge or towel you are using, especially the sponge. According to an article titled, a sponge may not be the most hygienic way to clean dishes, studies suggest, but there is an alternative published by CNN, and a research published in 2022 titled Bacteria Level and Diversity in Kitchen Sponges and Dishwashing uh, brushes used by consumers. Salmonella and other bad bacteria grow and survive better in sponge than in brushes. The reason is that sponges in daily use never dry up. So in terms of health concern, should you always use the dishwasher? There is actually one exception. If you have smaller kids in your household, then you might want to hand wash some of your dishes. There is a lot of research shows that kids who grow up in super clean environment have more allergies than kids who grow up in normal environment. To be precise, we are only talking about young children. Your allergies are very well set by the time you are an adult, so this won't make much of a difference. Family with babies and small children, on the other hand, might want to wash some of their dishes by hand so that some bacteria enter the children's system. Little germ in children's lives has been shown to enhance immune system and lead to healthier life than children raised in ultra-clean conditions. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal. I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA report that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye!